All right, good morning, class. Um, before we get started, I want everyone to take out their journals so that we can go ahead and start solving problems and working on this. All right, so the first thing I want you to write in your journal is eight times 234. And we are going to label this. So I'm going to label each, I'm going to break up this three digit number and I'm going to break it up into uh, three different parts, the ones, tens, and hundreds. So I know this is my ones. I'm going to write it complete in complete sentences. So ones, my tens, and hundreds. As you write this in your notebook, you should have it fully spelled out and not halfway. The next thing I'm going to do Remember that, um, so when we're doing, we're going to use the area model to solve this problem. Remember for area, unlike perimeter, we are doing length times width only. So what the area model would look like is the square rectangle. I'm going to have eight right here, two, 34. So length times width, I'm going to do the length times the width. But what if that number is too hard to solve since it is such a large number? The easiest thing we can do is break it apart. Going back right here to how we had, the, had it divided, we're, we're going to write the value of each one. So the value for my four that's in the ones place would be four. My value for the three that's in the tens place would be 30. My value for the two that's in the hundreds place would be 200. So instead of solving it this method, where I'm just doing eight times 234, I'm going to break it down into these three. So that would look like this. Three boxes. I'm going to keep the eight where it's at. Put 200 for the first box, 30 for the second, and then four for the last. Now here's the tricky part. What if one of these numbers was to be a zero? If that was the case, I'm not going to have any box for that. So do remember that. My next step is I'm going to do the length times the width. So I'm going to multiply these two. So the width and the length, again, for the 30 and then the eight times the four. So beginning with the first one, let's go ahead and do eight times 200. Now for eight times 200, if you don't know how to do that and it's just too big for you to solve, you can always cover up the zeros and do eight times two. When, if you had looked at your multiplication chart, you would have seen that eight times two equals 16 and you drop your two zeros and that's it. Then for the next one, we're going to do eight times 30. I'm going to write that equation in here. So, if eight times 30 is still too big of a number to solve, you are going to cover up the zero and do eight times three. Eight times three is 24. Plus the zero, just add it in or drop it. And that's going to give you 240. Now you have your last one, eight times four. I'm going to write that in here. Uh, eight times four is 32. Remember, you can use your multiplication chart to figure this out. Now, my next step that I'm going to do, I am going to add these numbers that I came up with all together. But instead of doing it all three at one time, I'm just gonna start off with the first two and then come back and add the 32 later. So I'm going to write 1,600 plus 240. And notice how my numbers are all lined up with the ones, tens, hundreds, where it's supposed to be. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus four is four. Six plus two is eight. And I'm just gonna bring down the one since nothing is there. So that's 1,840. But remember, we're not gonna stop there because we have not added our 32. So I'm gonna write that number right here. plus 32, zero plus two is two, four plus three, seven, 
eight. I'm just going to drop it since there's nothing there. I'm also going to drop the one. So that means my final answer is 1,872. That goes back to the question right here. Eight times 234 equals 1,872. So now that we've done that one together, I'm going to have you guys do one by yourselves. I'm going to have you guys do the, do four times 316 in your notebooks. And this is the same thing. So whenever you get your workbooks, if there was a four digit number, it's the same thing. But remember, if there is a zero here, you're not going to have an extra box for that zero.